who will join the NYSC board next year. Congratulations, Stacey. Thanks, Craig. Carl. We're going to be sad to see you go. You. It's yes, be this hard has to been say fun. On a daily basis, um, but I'm not going too far. Why now? You know, if you think back, I've spent 18 years of my career working in this building, if you count the first, the first nine years as a trader on the floor. So I will be deeply connected forever to the New York Stock Exchange and, and the broader ICE family. Nine years ago on Friday is when I joined ICE, and, and, or I joined the NYC, and I had a vision for how this place could evolve. And so I could not have been luckier when ICE came in at exactly that same time and really gave me the runway to make the changes that I wanted to see. So I had a, I had a, a wish list of things I wanted to do, and we've been crossing them off for the past nine years. Well, what, what's at the top of that list? The technology was, was number one. I wanted to completely change the underpinning of the, what run, runs our markets. And you look at the volatility we've seen this past year, we process 356 billion messages on a busy day. That's a lot. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of data running through our systems. It's certainly not what we could have done when I started my career as a trader on the floor. And I certainly could not have been processing activity like that in 30 microseconds, uh, which is what today's markets really require. So under changing that entire technology and making sure that we have the most sophisticated technology platform that is ready for any market conditions and we saw we do. That came, that came to life. So it felt really good to, to see the benefits of that work. It's kind of something that is invisible to a lot of tr investors because yes. they don't know what it would have been like without those changes. Yes. Right? What, how, how might volatility been different? Well, the, the actual volume of activity would have slowed down systems. And if you start to think about the investor confidence is so critical during any moment of market stress. If you're not getting responses on whether or not your, your orders are being filled, that does not help confidence. And so really important that our systems operate the same exact way during all market conditions is really key to market makers being able to make better prices because they're managing risk. And so if their risk profile changes, they back off and that's worse for investors. So having those systems really be consistent was critical. And then also changing the culture and reinventing a, a global icon. I mean, we are evolving over the past 229 years to serve what the needs are of our customers today. So when we think about ESG, when we think about the technology and the data that they need to manage their risk, those are all the things we've been focusing on for the, for the past nine years. All right. When people look back at your tenure, are they going to think in, in some order, SPACs, IPOs, China listings, is it, is it that a decent basket of big changes that happened while I, you were here? I hope they're thinking new technology, direct listings, innovations in the capital markets. We've talked about listing natural asset companies, which give investors a way to actually invest in our natural resources. There are so many things that we're going to do. And I frankly think people will, will also remember the pandemic. I mean, the, I, there's no hiding that my, during my time as president here, you know, adding on to the chief operating officer years, the pandemic was such a, a, a key part of, of the past three and a half years that I've, that I've been in this seat. So I imagine that'll be top of mind. For You're too. talking just managing protocols in the building or something? Protocols and, and, and the market volatility, market activity. I mean, you look back to March of 2020, our markets were dramatically selling off. I was constantly on the phone with, with different government officials about, you know, how are the markets performing? We're triggering market-wide circuit breakers. We had to close the trading floor, move employees remotely. All of those things were a big part of... Uh, the resiliency of our markets during that. And, and it all went flawlessly. I mean, I couldn't be more proud of our team for how we have performed during such a volatile period in our yeah. markets. I hate to ask you, I mean, I hate to ask you about quotidian concerns like yeah. masks and, yeah. and protocols, but since you're still here yeah, I am. and we're dealing with Omicron, do you envision changes at the last minute before Not at you? this time. So we monitor conditions regularly, and our plan all throughout was dial up, dial back, based on what's happening. And we are not seeing an uptick. We invested heavily in the HVAC system and everything else in this building. So even though there might be occasionally an isolated case, we're not seeing spread. And so that's an important element of, of what are the steps that we're taking here. Importantly, they're only vaccinated people that are here on the trading floor, and we require... You know, we require uh, proof of vaccine and, and for all of our events at the IPO, uh, IPO activities and all those things. So that also helps mitigate risk. And the combination of testing, vaccinations and, and masking when needed is, is what we're going with right now. But we're ready to change. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.